How's it going everybody? Jordan here and in today's video I will be going over the legendary Helix Store Pegasus set. This set was requested and challenged to me by an anonymous donor from one of my live streams. But I'm gonna be honest out the front, this set is likely only good for its looks and it was quite a struggle to make work out. I died a lot making this video, so thanks for torturing me. As always, if you enjoyed the video, a like really helps a lot and if you have questions, remember to leave them in the comments or join our Discord and you can always tweet them at me as well. Let's get right into it. So the Pegasus set was one of the first Helix store sets in the game, so it is one that you have to buy, and spoiler alert, I don't think you should unless you like the way it looks. And I've intentionally avoided reviewing it because its set bonus is honestly one of the worst in the game. The only caveat is it does look really cool, but sometimes that's not worth it in my opinion. But let's get into how you can even make this set work. Surprisingly, I was able to make a pretty solid build with this, especially at later levels with all the new level cap perk bonuses. The set bonus for the set is going to be 200% adrenaline on perfectly timed dodge. A perfectly timed dodge is when you dodge at the right moment and you get a bit of slow time giving you a chance to attack your enemies. So every time you dodge with this set you get a full adrenaline segment back which is nice but in my opinion with just a few points into adrenaline per hit and adrenaline per crit in the masteries you can get the same experience with just a few hits getting your adrenaline segments back. I've never felt like I've never had enough adrenaline with those masteries active, let alone forcing myself to dodge constantly to get adrenaline. I prefer parrying anyways, but I still worked on the set and I found a way to make it work. The legendary sword that comes with it is likely the best dodge playstyle, with its 25% damage after perfectly timed dodge, allowing you to dodge dodge some enemies and kill them quickly, making dodging being the primary focus of this set. I was also able to get this build to 100% crit chance by using the new copycat sword from the really really bad day Secrets of Greece quest or using the Master of Waters spear that also gives you crit chance. Overall, this set is not the best by a long shot, but it is fun to play as a challenge with the amount of dodging required to make it work. So if you are someone who loves to dodge a lot and you're good at it and you use it, this build actually could be viable because you could be dodging constantly to get adrenaline, to use abilities, and then with the sword, after you dodge, you can quickly kill people, add in the 100% crit chance, and you actually do end up killing people rather quickly as you can see from the footage in the video. Alright, let's look at the gear. So like I mentioned, the primary sword from the Helix store is going to be Chrysor. This gives us assassin damage, adrenaline per hit, which I think is a waste because we're getting adrenaline per dodge. I'd prefer if that was some other perk, but what we really are relying on is the 25% damage after perfectly timed dodge legendary perk, and then I engraved it with 30% damage with swords. Our secondary weapon is the Secrets of Greece, really really bad day sword called the copycat sword, which gives us the warrior damage, damage on Spartan soldiers, which I really, really don't like at all, but if you happen to run into a Spartan soldier, you will kill them very quickly. I'd prefer if that perk was something else. I just wanted the 10% crit chance, and then I engraved 50% crit damage as well on there. For our bow, I chose assassin damage, crit chance, and warrior damage because we're not leaning on any elemental damage with this build. I have been doing that a lot lately. I just feel like with the how much you can get crits high in this game, crits can definitely kill things very quickly without the assistance of elemental damage, but a lot of these legendary sets need some sort of tankiness or some sort of additional perks to make them feel good and so I tend to sacrifice elemental damage first before anything else. With this I engraved it with another helix store item of the Nemean Claw which gives us 30% damage while full health that applies to hunter, warrior, and assassinations. On the head we have warrior damage, damage with swords, and then I engraved 20% crit chance while at full health. For the gauntlets we have warrior damage, adrenaline on assassination, 
kill, and then 100% crit damage while full health. For our chest, we have warrior damage, adrenaline on assassination kill, and then I engraved armor on this. You could do more crit damage here, but I just kind of wanted to make it a little bit tankier in case you miss a dodge. You still die pretty quickly. Again, this set just, it's a struggle to play with on Nightmare in my opinion. On the waist, we have warrior damage, adrenaline per hit, and then I engrave 30% melee resistance on that. Again, trying to make it take some hits. Plus, all the adrenaline perks on this set, I think, is just counterintuitive to what the set is. There's not enough damage or melee resistance in order to kind of add to the fact that you're getting adrenaline from dodging. So you're getting just tons of adrenaline, so you're relying on a lot of abilities to make this work. Warrior damage, and then we have movement speed while crouching, and then 20% crit chance while at full health engraving. Alright, let's look at the abilities. Overall, I'd say all those additional perks on that set are just awful. The crouching, the assassination adrenaline, the adrenaline per hit, it's just too much adrenaline. And you can fill your adrenaline bar really quickly, but that means that we're going to have to use lots of abilities in order to make this work. So, because of the assassination, parts of the set we're gonna run with two different wheels we have our assassination wheel which we have rush assassination the secondary perk we're gonna use slow time slow time is really good for maneuvering around and trying to kill people when you need to and then hero strike which crits as well and does hundred percent assassin damage this deals a lot of damage on the warrior side ring of chaos is going to be your perfect aoe damage ability for lots of enemies around you the secondary ability is gonna be battle cry of Ares. There is going to be moments with maybe fights with multiple mercenaries where you might be dying so you might want to turn this on to kind of buy yourself some time. And then the third ability is going to be shield breaker just because of the dodging and all that kind of stuff and using the shield breaker to take the shield away from a mercenary helps even the fight out in my opinion with this set. And then lastly we have second wind which heals you to try and keep you at full health for all those full health damage and critting. All right, let's look at the masteries for this. As always, if you don't have as many ability points as I do, just focus on the primary ones. And in order to hit the 100% crit chance, you're gonna need to put 20 points into crit chance on the hunter tree, and then 20 points into crit chance while at full health on the assassin tree. If you do that, and then put either the copycat sword or the master of waters as one of your primary weapons, you'll have a 100% crit chance at full health with only the crit and grit engravings on your helmet and boots if that makes sense. Next, you're going to want to put points into damage with swords, damage while at full health, damage at full health, and then if you have the extra ability points, putting adrenaline on perfectly timed dodge also helps to kind of synergize with it, and then damage on elites as well on the assassin tree. On the warrior tree, you're going to want to put points into health total armor and melee resistance to make yourself a little tankier and if you have the extra points putting them into warrior damage or damage dealt restored as health to help keep all of that up and getting your health at full health. Lastly, if you have a few extra points, putting some more into crit damage or range resistance will help out quite a bit as well. Alright, let's look at the stats for this build. I know I was mentioning a 100% crit chance, but I realized I took that away on the waist to add melee resistance, so that's up to you. You can put the crit chance on the waist and be a little less tankier, or take that away, be a little bit tankier and deal 90% crit chance while at full health. So those options are up to you with this set, but even then when you are critting at full health you're dealing at another 310% damage which is pretty low again not super awesome not a very good build but on our damage with swords we have an 84% chance increase and then lastly if we look at our defensive and utility modifiers we have a good armor bonus melee and range resistance bonus as well as a health bonus making it decently tanky so that if you miss time of dodge you're not going to get screwed over and instantly killed lastly there's a lot of adrenaline with this set so you're going to want to remember to keep using your abilities over and over and over again because you're going to have plenty of adrenaline to use with this set. So that's the Pegasus set. 
overall, I would say if you wanted an ability based set to use the one that comes with the game, which is the Demigod set, it deals more damage and is honestly a lot better than this set. And this set requires you buying it. So I don't recommend buying this set for the stats. They're honestly not very good in comparison to many other epics or legendary sets like the Demigod set. But if you like the way it looks, it makes for a really cool transmog. But other than that, I definitely I'll be playing this set again after this video. As always, if you have any questions or build requests, put them in the comments of this video or join our Discord filled with a lot of smart people who can help you work through any questions you might have about the game. Or you can tweet them at me too. As always, thanks again for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Remember, leaving a like on the video helps out a lot, and you can always subscribe and hit the bell for more Assassin's Creed Odyssey content. I really appreciate every one of you and I'll see you guys next time. So proud.